What's up guys, Sila here with another guide for you. This is going to be a companion pet guide on the Hyacinth Macaw. And this is a strange pet because it's one of the only few that's rare quality. It means it's epic, it's purple. And it used to be quite hard to obtain before Cataclysm. It only came from the pirates in Stranglethorn Vale. Uh, it came from like the Bloodsail Buccaneers. Uh, sorry, the Bloodsail Mages, Bloodsail Warlocks, Bloodsail Deckhands, things like that. Uh, since Cataclysm it's been changed, it's now a zone wide drop on a 1 in 8000 drop chance. It comes from the Caper Stranglethorn and the Stranglethorn Jungle, so you can farm in both zones, or sub zones of the same zone. A good place to farm is the Venture Core Base Camp. There's a lot of mobs here, but the problem is they're quite spread out. Another really good place is up to the top left of Stranglethorn Jungle, the ruins of Zulkunda. Uh, this is great because there's a lot of mobs very close together, so you'll be able to quickly sort of run through them all, AOE them down. There's no sort of running around to pull one to two mobs. You're going to be able to pull like four to five at a time, which is great. And by the time you clear through the whole sort of zone of trolls, because as you can see, it's quite endless. By the time you've cleared them out and head back, they should all be respawning again. So in theory, you should have an endless supply of trolls to kill. Another really good place is just below Gorobashi Arena in the Caper Stranglethorn. You'll find these Bloodsail Warlocks and things like that. Um, these are great because not only do they respawn fast, there's a few of them in a very small area, and you'll also gain rep with Ratchet, uh, Gadget Zan, Everlook, and all the other goblin faction uh, reputations, apart from obviously the Horde version. But remember, you will lose reputation with the Blood Sail. If you're trying to keep your rep with the pirates, then you have to watch because doing this will lose your rep with the pirates as well. So take that in mind. Um, if you are interested in farming, uh, farming the pirate, pirates as well, on the Wild Shore there's also another good bunch of pirates for you to be able to kill through. The Sea Dogs and the Warlocks again, and stuff like that. Now the great thing about this pet is, now that it's been changed, Stranglethorn has a lot of areas where there's a lot of mobs grouped up for quests that's respawn quite quickly. So no matter where you pick really, you should have a good place to farm this pet. Uh, I've just given you a couple of ideas of where to farm, but don't take mine. There's probably much better ones that I've shown you. Uh, the other good thing is the Razashi Raptor pet also has a chance of dropping in the same zone. So while you're farming, you could get both. And they are both sellable. So you could get them and sell them for some gold. And I know the Hyacinth Macaw does sell for quite a good amount because it's epic and people think it's better than some other pet. But that's that, guys. So good luck getting the pets. Thanks for watching, guys. Look out for more videos coming soon. See ya.